Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing some transplanting. Uh, I need to get I needed to get these things out of the greenhouse. Um, I'm only doing the kale, the broccoli, and the Brussels sprouts today. Um, I haven't. I still got some spots back there. I got to clear out that um, the collards are going to go in, and a few a few of the other items. So um, today we're just doing these. And uh, just bring you along to show you my process. <clears throat> so the first thing I have to do is these beds need to be topped off with compost. So I got my compost here in my wheelbarrow, and I'm going to go around and 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 top off all the beds. Actually, let me whoop, 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 rewind. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some fertilizer. In here, I have a uh, if you can see that, but in here I have uh, bone meal and blood meal in there. And so that's pretty much what I'm using to put down as my pre-plant fertilizer. And I just scoop it up here in my TSC cup. And I already filled this area right here. But let's take this area right here. I just go and sprinkle it on, on down on there. A cup, normally I use a cup for about half of a bed. So uh, let me go ahead and, and knock that out and then I'll be right back. Um, I'm doing kale up here on the front and just so you know, so there's drip tape underneath the ground here. Um, so what I, what I, what I tend to do is when, when I put these young plants in the ground, I will overhead water for a little while. Okay. Um, once those roots get down, uh, deeper into the soil, then I'll let the, the drip irrigation do its job. But. I don't typically measure this out. I just kind of guesstimate with it what I think that the uh, the grown plant is going to need. Uh, let me see. So, how many of those did I bring out here? <clears throat> I got two more. So that's four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these out a little bit. Yep, yeah, about like that. So it's a little over a foot between each one of them. And then since I already put down my pre-plant, all I got to do is dig that hole like that and fill it back in. Just like that. Press it down a little bit, get that... Um, Get the soil contact with the roots down there. And we are off and running. Uh, I'll, I'll finish up these right here. And then the, the rest of them, I'll speed it up for you. So you don't want to be too too uh, harsh with them, but you also don't have to baby them too much either. <clears throat> Just like that. And now that they're in the ground, they are going to take off. Get away from me. They are going to take off. So um, today is October 3rd. And I will uh, do a short video in a week from today. So that's next week, Wednesday. I'll do a short video and show you how much they've grown. <clears throat> Really, really easy. <clears throat> and they, and I probably won't have to fertilize these again. Um, we'll see how it goes, but they got plenty of fertilizer from the compost and from the fertilizer that I put down there. That fertilizer is uh, slow release. So this was one of my tomatoes. 
I like to leave the roots in the ground to break down and become organic matter, but that one was just sticking up too far. <clears throat> so that's it with those. Um, I'll get the rest of these put down and I'll be right back. All right. Got them all in there. Now I got to water it down real good. I probably will turn on the drip irrigation tonight. Put it on for about 30 minutes or so. See so I can get that ground down there real saturated. Uh, but like I said, these things are going to take off. I'll, I'll, I'll do a follow up in a week and you will see the difference. Uh, but when I get done watering here, I'll bring you in close. So you can see how small they are now in comparison to how they're going to be in a week. Um, so I really wanted to I really wanted to get this video in. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get these transplants out because I think that every gardener has one particular phase of the process that they like the most. And that really, you know, really gets them excited. And mine is not transplanting, okay? <laughs> transplanting is not my number one. Um, but, you know, the, the transplants go through transplant shock. And when I see them come out of that shock and they become vibrant plants, that's what I love. That's the process. That's the part of the process that I love the most. Because that lets me know that I did the right thing. Starting the seeds, and I did the right thing on transplanting. Now I always keep a few extra in the in the greenhouse just in case one of them or two of them doesn't do well. With that transplant shock, I can throw another plant in the ground and don't have to to uh, to start new seeds, you know. But let me bring you up here so you can see what I'm working with. All right, so this is in here up close and personal you see that kale plant right there it's up to about my the second digit on my finger but we'll see how that looks in a couple of weeks or in a week let's look at look at that that's barely barely up to my first digit right there and this is uh brussels sprouts no this is broccoli this is broccoli right here so we'll see how that does. And then this is the Brussels sprouts. Once again, about up to that first digit, a little bit higher than the first digit. <clears throat> All right, well, there you have it. Um, pretty simple process. I pull my seedlings out of the seed trays and I put them in a bottom tray. I bring them out to the garden. I, I go ahead and put down my pre-plant fertilizer. I top it off with some compost. And I'll put them in the ground. After that, I water them in. And like I said, we'll be back in a week to see how 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 good or how bad they are. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.